that one. I'm just like, <laughs> we're making everybody make a funny face. <laughs> All right, we okay. are up and going, guys. <laughs> Welcome Hello, back, everybody. everyone. No, Hi guys. Hello. Hey everybody. Hi. Nice to see you guys Hello. again. Yes, we are live. And this is our first official session as the six blind dice. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually have a um, Tumblr up, and we're making, uh, everybody uh, make a funny face. Feel so <coughs> free to right, check okay. it out anytime you guys, guys want. I think our red <laughs> is it linked on our Welcome actual back, every Twitch Hi, guys. Server. Hey, everybody. Hi. Nice to see you. Hey. Hey. Yes, we are live. Okay. okay. <laughs> if, not, if it's not there, it's just six blind dice, all no spaces, no dashes, just dot tumblr dot com. I'm yeah, going so in the chat. So you guys can check that out. Yeah, next, put it in the chat. Wait, I'm not a dice. Oh, hold on. Is there people actually in the chat right yeah, second? Not, not yet. Not like people, people, yeah. but, but it won't um, be next it. did post in the chat, or at least, I don't know if like, you re does, re does it, it, it would be seen. but It won't until there's actually people there, but I'll post it whenever uh, we get it up. But if okay. people are watching the past stream, they'll be able yeah. to hear this. So it's yeah, I mean, we kind of started a little late, so I mean, we can't really expect people to... Sally, join in since we are about 45 minutes late, but I mean, I'm sure they'll if, come around if they do watch it. Sorry, guys. Huh. We're like always late. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's notorious. Maybe we should actually start at like 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give me one second. Okay. Yeah, just make sure everything's all set up before yeah. we officially start. And guys, and next we we realized next had a very bad problem of he actually did in fact leave his weapons, so pretty much we're just voiding out his last conversation with the blacksmith where he killed everybody I and mean, everything on that side of it we're not worrying about. Um, so pretty much I got down from the tree and I went back to the inn. Yeah, I mean it was just the <laughs> side, and I mean I it was just as much my fault. I mean I I just remember things a little wrong, but as Nick said, we're gonna rewind it a little and go back to the point where he was, and we'll. Um, play it from there. Uh, is everyone back now? And are we ready to actually officially start? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm ready. I'm, here. I'm okay. ready. RC. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, next, you are you are up in that tree and everything, and this is right after you finished talking to that um, the blacksmith guy, and you just. You were able to kind of bluff your way out, and he's back going back to his um, smithing job. And what do you do? I'm gonna walk over to blacksmith. I am going to head over towards the uh, church. Okay. And actually, I'm gonna walk into the church and just. Actually search okay, the area and see what I see. Okay, during this time, like they're actually in the middle of service, you see like about ten or fifteen elves like in the pews <laughs> and like the, the clergyman kind of in front and just saying that they're just kinda of, like in the middle of like their little mass service and right when you open the door they just kinda of look straight at you and and he said, Well and the clergyman kinda of comes up to you and says, So, are you wanting to join our service? Uh yeah, no. God, no. Sorry, I mean, no offense, but What's such yeah. blasphemy? I, I, what? I, what? No God? What? Yeah, no, just, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going back out that door. Bye. I think you should, child. <laughs> I walk out the door, and I'm like, that was just awkward. Um, I'm going to go to the tavern and get drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Go there's forget actually, the entire thing. In this one, this place, there's actually one tavern. Where <coughs> you actually, at this point, Villian, um, what would you have been doing? Um, um late eve or that, about late evening time. Wasn't that when I was there asking about the the, the keep up in the north? Yeah, the you were last so, time we got back to you. You were talking to the um guy. I can't remember exactly what I said his name was. We'll I don't know. The guy who refused to sell me alcohol because he thought <laughs> I was a small child. Yeah, the guy who gave, her, she... gave him chocolate milk. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so I think I'm probably still there drinking okay, so my at, chocolate milk. Okay, so at this point, you see Nick's Chris kind of like coming in, coming in. Just, I mean, you haven't seen him for a few hours. And, I mean, what do you guys do? I wave well, hello. Hello. They're actually served children here alcohol? I did not know this. <laughs> 
one, I'm not a child, and two, this is chocolate milk. And it's delicious. <laughs> Enough said. And like, at this point, the barkeep comes up to you. Oh, I think you left your child over here. Um, she's been unattended for quite a while. <laughs> Are you here to pick her up? <laughs> um, I, I look at the bartender and I say, Sir, I do not know what this child thing is. I don't even know why it's here in the bar in the first place. Hmm. I look hurt. I, I I'm just not an it. Part of your party because you then you all arrived together as a group? Well, yes we did, but I don't claim that thing, so yeah, no. I'm hurt. I'm you not a thing. You well, I don't know what to do with this child. I can't send her back off. Like, I don't know where her parents are. And, I mean, if I'm not okay. his child. <laughs> well, do you guys... want to take custody of her. I mean, I don't know. I mean, do you guys do have, it. like, a uh, a slave trade market anywhere we could take her to, possibly? <laughs> you are <an> <laughs> this point, He just seems totally appalled. I mean, we don't, we don't condone, condone slavers. Okay, sir. I mean, I was just thinking of other options we may have to, to do with the child. I mean, I will definitely take her under my care I don't know while what she's kind here. Of person you are, but we do not sell children as slavers around here. I, I did not grow up in this type of society. I was more akin to fighting for my life every day, so. Uh, he just kind of sighs and he said, So, is, is there anything in particular you want? Um. I think I overheard her talking to you about the, the keep up there. I mean, could you give us a little bit more information? He's a bad person. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to... Well, uh, got backed up. I think you guys have something to deal with. And he just kind of walks off. <laughs> I, I, I look at uh, the valley and I'm like, why do you have to say stuff like that? Just let it go and we can take care of this ourselves. <laughs> Well, maybe you should try being nicer to me. Maybe I'll be nice back to you. Well, if it, if I didn't feel like I could punch you across the room, I probably would. <laughs> and then the, the barkeep kind of comes up to you. I mean, I, we don't condone child violence here. I mean, please do not say it's a small child. <laughs> I mean, I, I, mean I do... <laughs> Apparently, the, you aren't a parent, so, I mean, I'm, I think I'm talking to the wrong person. Is, is there anyone else in your party that would be willing to claim her? He's a meanie butt. <laughs> Sweetie, your mic cut out. Right. Oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was on mute. <laughs> so I know I'm, she may look like a child, but I know for a fact that she is not. She's actually, uh, what is it, 25, 26? What are, how old are you? Hmm? How old are you? Oh... Not that old. Well, I, I know that it's not a child, so I mean, it can look after itself. So I'm I'll... also not an it. <laughs> well, I don't know what you are. You come up to like my thigh. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't deny me of being a woman. Well, I'm sorry. You're you're disturbing the other patrons here. Um, if you need to <laughs> talk, I mean, I. Really, please, would prefer you guys to be quiet. Well, yeah, okay, we can we can take this into a, a room if we must. No. So you want so you want to purchase a room? <laughs> well, we we do need the shelter for the night. Yeah, we have some fine rooms up there um, for you. I, we can give you one for five silver a night. So do you, would you like to share a room with me, Villain? Or are we just gonna? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you charge her double. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kind of sighs and he kind of just holds his hand out kind of expecting the money <laughs> I toss a gold coin into him and be like make sure I get the better room of the two thank you sir well um I we'll give you some we'll give you a there. good continental breakfast with that with every with, it, with each day you stay here <laughs> why thank you okay and, and he just does off he goes off um, helping other patrons beautiful Okay, we'll flash back to um, RC. All right, was, are, are you still sleeping on the tree, or are you actually around? Yep, still sipping on the tree. Okay, um, <laughs> Stanley, what are you guys? <laughs> I mean, this is like this is like an entire day has passed. Like he's just been sleeping on the tree, like 
for almost like 12 hours, 12, 20 hours. So I guess whatever. I mean, I guess it's just been a really rough night. Okay, yep. Natalie, what do you do? You this is right after you came back to the key, like you escape. You, I remember you saying you. Just, hold on, is the map up? Yeah, I remember you saying you said you were taking a long way around, but what do you do eventually? Me? Um, yeah. I mean, right you know, now, I was taking the long way around so I could, like, get back to camp. I don't want to go in the middle of the Elven area. I mean, which, I mean, which area. Camp, like, camp with Edric and Avara and, um... Yeah, I'm the, going back to where, like, the people who did decided to not go into town are camped. Okay, I just we'll, kind of we'll wanted to make sure no one was following me and no meet one up would... up with the rest of the group. Uh, the rest of the group that's out. Yeah, somewhere... Yeah, I, I circle around that way. Um, I think it froze. Yeah, you cut out, Ron. Oh, no! <laughs> Yeah, the call itself actually cut out. This session of D and D is sponsored by Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Don't say that. Hello. <laughs> was that was, was that my connection or? Yeah, you. That was something going on. I don't know. But, but was it you just cut me out or? the call entirely? Yeah, it was just oh, you. Okay. Okay. Uh, if this doesn't work, I might have to switch to my backup internet connection. So, um, hold on. Where was I at? Okay. Yeah, Natalie, you meet up with the rest of the group, um, and. As I said, like you haven't seen anyone, you haven't seen Taylor or Next Chris for about three or four hours. Okay. I mean, what do you guys do? I mean, I mean, I'm gonna. Mm. Um, I'm going to. I mean, what time what is, is it? Forget. Um, probably about eight, nine o'clock or at this point. Eight, nine. Um, I guess I'll just start setting up, you know, my part of the camp, you know. Okay. How? By the way, how far do you guys do it? Just like close enough where you can see the town and not off, like. Yeah, I mean, like close enough that we can, like, well, personally, I, I think we would do it. We're like where we can see the town, so we wouldn't have to worry too much about like wild animals and stuff. Okay. okay, so pretty close to where you guys first um, arrived in town. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, um, I mean, would you have guys done anything else after not seeing the rest of the party for a while, or just I'm hunting set up for camp? I'm just wandering okay. around the woods. Okay, um... Because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> okay, go for it. I mean, if you want... I mean, this is your, this is your option to do whatever you want. Would it be a search or survival? Um, survival. Hold on. Yes, survival to see if you find anything. Nope. Could you just tell me what you rolled? Seven. Seven total? Yes. You find nothing. <laughs> I find a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I am an awesome ranger. Okay, you find a gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my new companion. <laughs> it's probably related to one of those chickmunks, Love you know. Second. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, right now it's getting kind of dark. I mean, you could still decide to hunt throughout the night, but I mean, it's your choice. Yeah, I'll go back to camp. Okay. Um. So, do you guys just make camp for the night, or would you would you guys have done anything before the end of the I night? Okay. Can I um? Is everyone going to bed? It's up to you guys. And Diedrich just wakes up in the middle of the night. Yeah. I'm a night stalker. Um, Does he even notice the hairball? <laughs> Do I notice it? Wait, where is the hairball anyways? I hawked a hairball on your face. 
Oh. Remember, very oh. end of last session. I rolled a 20. Oh. <laughs> I To hawk a hairball on you. Oh. I thought, I thought a bird landed and I was going to eat the bird. Good thing you didn't eat I'm that bird. I'm still vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, I just wake up and I um I observe everyone else making the camp and falling asleep, making sure nothing happened to them. You know, honestly, at this point, you've been asleep in and out for the past day or so, and I mean, you see everyone but next Chris and um, Taylor, but everyone else seems to be making camp right beside you or pretty close to you. I mean, you what? slept pretty much all day and all afternoon and all evening, so I mean, if you wanted to do stuff in the middle of the night, I mean, you'd be capable, definitely. Um, what time of day is it, like... I mean, right now they're starting to set up camp. It's about 10 o'clock. Okay. Uh, do I see any, like, activity in the town? I mean, you see a few candle lights. Um, or you see a few, like, um, lights inside the houses or whatever. But you don't see many people. You don't see anyone on the streets at the moment. Okay. Um, I head towards the town. And I go into the, uh, what was it? A, a, a chapel or something in the town that uh, Nexus went into? Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> this I mean, is yeah, be at, bad. He's gonna at get the beginning, killed. but you don't really know where the chapel was at the moment. I mean, you, do you just go around searching for the, for something like that? Yeah. Okay, I mean, after 10 or so minutes, you see this pretty much, like, standard chapel, like a bell on the top. I mean, it's definitely um, one of the most prominent structures in the settlement. What do um, you do? I walk up to it to see whether the door is locked or not. It's locked. I mean, it is uh, in the middle of the night. Okay. Well, is there a window? Um, yeah, there's a window in the front. But it's boarded up, like, as most of the houses in the area are. Is there uh, any, like, is there any vantage point, like, uh, I guess? Vantage point to Maybe what, like? To get in, like, any, any opening. Perhaps. I mean, possibly, like you look kind of look up and you see um, the bell where they kind of um, ring it before like services and everything, and you see that there is kind of an opening around there. It's probably a good. I mean, could I? Uh, it's a good could 20, I... 20, 20, or I guess it would be a 25, 30 foot climb. I mean, it's quite an endeavor. Uh, can I climb it? Okay, describe how you would climb it. Like, I mean, would you just. I, I would suspect there's, like, other buildings nearby. No, at th this particular building, there isn't really any... There, there isn't any buildings that will be close enough for you to grab onto. Even the trees are too far away for you to, to grab onto. You might be able to grab onto, like, the side and kind of go on top of the house and um, go to the back way of the where the bell is, but it's still you'd still have to kind of climb around the, top, the little front, um, front part and... See if you can climb in. I mean, it's, it would be a difficult task without any. I mean, we would just uh, forget about it. I go up to the like door. Spider -Man. <laughs> Spider Man. I go up to the door and I give it a loud knock. Okay. You knock. A few minutes go by. I mean, nothing happens. You keep knocking? Keep knocking. Okay. Um, after about five or so minutes, like, this old man um, kind of comes up to the door. Just kind of like he has a candle by it, like in his hand, and kind of like peers out. And he says, "Well, what do you need at this hour of night?" I need uh, I need to talk to you. Is this something that can wait till tomorrow, child? Um. Yeah. Um. No, I can't wait. <sighs> okay. The church is always open, and he kind of opens the door and kind of leads you in front. Um, so, what did you need to talk about? I, 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 I need to get something off my mind. Okay. I mean, you came to the right place. Okay. So, you ever had the strong temptation to just eat a cow? I, I don't know what you mean. Typically, us elves don't deal with such, such kind of meat. I mean, we consider cows unclean around 
That's more of a human. Human thing. About, I mean, about well, I can't, <laughs> well, I can't condemn you for that. It is something I do not like. Okay, well, speaking about humans, um, so, it, at one point, I... That mask, I mean, it, it is kind of weird for you to have that mask in front of me. I'd be able to see your face, child? Uh, maybe, no, it's, no, no, sorry. And you I, are kind of making it a little... Why would someone come to the church in the window? I mean, I, I don't mind talking to you, but it would put me in ease if you at least take off that mask. Okay, I take off the mask. Okay. And I just, I mean, like, he, place it at my side. He just, he just kind of, like, get back, like, a little repulsed by the sound of the human... But he doesn't say it. So, so can can we sit somewhere? Because it's going to be a long talk. Okay, just do my you. I'll I'll sit with you, child. Okay. So, um, wait, where do we sit at? It's important to know where we sit at. And it's like one of the pews, like <laughs> sitting right beside you with a mom. It's like one of the far back pews. Okay. Well, I sit there, and I look straight into his eyes, and I just stare at him for a good minute. Don't you have to talk about it? I'm extremely tired. His name is Fluffy. Second, I can't <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just, he kind of just did the long side. <laughs> Why did I even come up this R night? Please just okay. tell me what you're gonna say or we'll tomorrow. So so I I came to this village and this person was in trouble and being the good, kind hearted citizen that I am, I went to aid her in her time of need. And I might yeah. have I mean that's a very valiant to be able to help someone in need. What what is wrong with that child? I might have completely slaughtered someone's limb off completely, and I may have, I don't know, murdered, very, very this, murdered a lot, another person. And I may have framed the both this, people. At this point, he, he stands up next to what, you murder someone? He just, he's just totally like... And I, and I stopped him, I'm like, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I'm like, wait, wait, he was, he, he was, he was a bad guy. He was going to attack me, and I acted in self-defense. He was a bartender, but I acted in self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, like, he seems to be, like, just totally changed his mood about it. Everything's happened. He's like, you have to do what you have to do. Is, is, is there anything you need? I mean, I, I, I think I have to go. And he, at this point, he kind of starts backing up the... Um, like, um, to the one of the back rooms. <laughs> I, I, I immediately, like, grab him, and, like, I push him up against the wall. And he starts, oh, 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 if you grab him, he starts screaming. <laughs> and, and I'm like, look, man, you don't understand what I've been through. Okay, I at this point, you hear, you hear, like, a whole bunch of <laughs> sounds coming oh, up from, God. like, a floor. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, Luris, are these, this been bothering you? I heard, the he said, I, I think this is, I think it's time for this person to leave. And he kind of looks over to you, RC, and he says, are you going to have any problems? Uh, no, I just, I, I just need someone to talk to. I, I, okay. So you you've ever been hit so hard in the head you just went piss drunk on the floor and man hangovers hurt. Had so much Come back tomorrow and maybe we'll be able to talk. But I do not feel safe with you at the moment. And they comes towards the door. And the other the two the two clergymen that was upstairs, like um, standing beside them. And at this point, I mean they're. I mean, they're all pretty old, but, I mean, they're kind of, they're giving you, like, a frowny look. <laughs> I, I, I walk out, and, and I just 
deeper to the tree that I once was. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, nah, nothing else. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go back to. Um, well, did you say what you were gonna do? Yeah. Um. I'm gonna um, just look around. Just gonna wander. Like around town, around the um, wilderness. I'm gonna look around the wilderness, see if I could find anything, um, like possibly to eat or anything. <laughs> you have like 200 pounds of meat in your pack, <laughs> but um, okay, you, you go around searching around the wilderness. Um, go and roll deep one and add your spot. Oh, no. Okay. After an hour's worth of searching, I mean, you know is that there's a lot of trees around and it's pretty thick. I mean, it's, you don't really figure out much from the landscape. I mean, you get kind of lost a few times and you actually, it actually takes you a little while to get back to camp. Um, can I climb the trees? See, see if I can get a better view from on top of the trees? I mean, maybe at the immediate area, but sure. Um, I mean, you just, I mean, it's a per, as I said, like, I mean, other than the town around you, you don't really see anything pretty significant under, in, in the forest, I and mean, you see a whole bunch of, I mean, birds and around, but right now you don't really, I mean, it's getting pretty close to the, um, the deep part of winter, so you don't even really see that many, um, wild animals around. So it's dark out right now, correct? Yeah, it's totally dark at the moment. The I'm only gonna, event that's around is the campfire. Um, I'm going to sneak into town. Okay. Where would you have sneak, snuck to? Um, I'm going into town, um, and I'm going to be um, heading towards... Um, what? Just... Um, I want to head to the other side of the town and see what's on the other side. Um, mm, you know, like okay. past the town. Past the town, like on the other side of the town. Yeah, we'll see what's over there. Okay, um, you probably walk maybe about about a mile, mile and a half through. I mean, you know, it's a fairly small town. I mean, it can't have more than a thousand or so people in it. And then the other side seems to be pretty identical to the other side. I mean, it's pretty thick brush, pretty thick forest. I mean, most of the stuff that was cleared was cleared for the towns, and I mean, there isn't really much other than that than the road um, to the west or west northwest, rather. Okay, so. Um, but you do know as you do pass through, you do notice the keep and like a few like boarded up houses and the church, and I mean a few closed down shops, but you don't see anyone on the streets. How close together are the houses? I mean, most of the houses, I mean, are... I know in the actual picture, they aren't really on trees, but they're... Most of the houses have been built on top of the trees. And, I mean, they... It seems to be, like, a lot... I mean, pretty basic housing, like wood. I mean, not really much concrete, or, sorry, not much brick or whatever, other than what's on the keep. But the keep definitely doesn't look like it was originally... I mean, it doesn't look like the same decor as the elf housing. I mean, it definitely looks like it was there previously, and the elves probably have taken up residence. I'm going to investigate by um, sneaking up towards um, okay, the, at this the keep. Point, well, we're, okay, let me move you. Yeah, um, go ahead and roll a d20 and add your spot.
Whoa. Not bad. <laughs> One, uh, I can't Good see job. Okay. Three. <laughs> At this point, on the wall, you actually see, like, I mean, you see an elf actually on the wall. And at this point, like, kind of, like, maybe about 30 or 40 feet, you see a few of those chipmunks that you encountered earlier just kind of look off in your, your direction. They haven't actually made a move towards you, but you know they're um, tracking you. Uh-huh. I'm going to immediately double back and leave town. Okay, I mean, the same way you came? Yes. No, yeah. the op the an another way. I'm going to leave um, through the um, you just uh, show me south. Like on the I'm going to go through the south of the town. Like all the way south and around, or just... Yeah, okay. I'm going to go all the way south and around the town. Okay. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave them off. Golden do a... I mean, are, at this point, are you just running, or are you just trying to be I'm quiet? Or what? I'm trying to sneak. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to sneak behind buildings and okay. trees. Go, go ahead and um, do a d20 and move silently. But, I mean, they're looking at you, and there isn't really much cover. So go ahead and do a minus, minus three on top of your roll. That's minus three. My um, mm. my move so silent. My move my move silent is fifteen. Plus fifteen. Yep, my move silently is fifteen, so I minus right. three out of that. Um. Okay. Um. You're able to. I mean, they, you're able to move silently around. They. Oh, I I, I am in I am in um where uh, I'm in tiger form at this point, this whole time. Okay. Good. So just move around and. Oh, let's see if they can. Would you roll twenty six? Yes. Okay. Um, you don't think they see you, but you just keep on going. Um, I'm I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Okay. Um, you go around and you don't think anyone sees you. Okay. Um. Okay. So you're back at camp. I'm going back to camp. Okay, we'll flash back to um, Villian and um, next Chris. Okay, at this point, like, you guys have been kind of talking at the tavern for, I mean, you just got finished with your conversation. And just all of a sudden, the door just barges open. And the elder guy, um, Ilian, the, the one that you talked to earlier, just barges in and walks straight towards you guys. And um, you notice that he has about, like, five of his chipmunk friends with him. And he says, You two have been causing trouble in my town. I've been doing nothing. We've had reports that someone has been looking at our keep up, and you two are the only ones here currently. Can you explain that? Uh, yeah. No, I was down at the blacksmith. I mean, if you want to talk to him down there and then yes, yes yes we talked to the blacksmith and he said you were on a tree just taking a like a just like look at the scenery and i find that's quite odd i'm gonna and why i'm actually gonna bluff him okay maybe I'll, that's your bluff first i look at him i say sir i just as i told the blacksmith it's been a long time since i've seen an elven city i mean and yours is just one of beauty I just wanted to take in that scenery and just, because it's been so long since I've seen something like this. Okay, go with the roll. Hopefully I don't fall flat on my face. Ooh. Ooh. And he just kind of sighs. It still doesn't explain all the weird activity that's happened. We saw, we saw someone that we're not exactly sure who, 
but someone was wandering around the keep, and we noticed it was probably, it's either one of you or one of your party, and I'm going to have to ask both of you to leave immediately. If it's one of the people that we're with, we have no control over them. Like, if they've been acting, they've been acting independently of any of us. Yeah, but, I, you, but you two have brought those others here. Those, I don't care, I mean, all humans and all and all outsiders, I feel like, don't deserve to be in the city. This is a splendid elf city, and you just contaminate this area with your kind, and he just totally um, gives you this stink look. I've done nothing. I have gone and paid my respects at your church and to your god. I have been kind. I have not caused any trouble here. I have kept trouble from happening with the rest of the party before this, even though they chose not to come in. I don't see how I'm doing anything that would upset you. And if I've done something inadvertently to upset you, then I apologize. And I hope that you can forgive me. You just kind of sighs. Go ahead and roll a d20 and um, do a charisma check. Okie dokie. Give me five seconds. I hope you're charismatic. D D20, D20. What was my charisma modifier? Is it? My charisma is a 15. Full charisma. Full charisma. Roll with just charisma, so 15. Yeah, 20 plus 15. Roll D20 plus 15. Um, he just kind of looks at you and just says, I, Ever since your party's come, you've caused so much trouble. You, you will be, your gear will be returned to you, and I'm, I'm going to have to ask both of you to leave. If we have any issues, we will have to take the next step, but I cannot, I cannot deal with any more disturbances in this town. I look, I, sir, do you think that could possibly be the... Lord and Iraqi's men that were spedded further south than here that were coming up to inspect your defenses. I mean, we would be happy to uh, assist you if that is the case. All I know is all this, all these events started happening when you and your party arrived at the town. And I'm not saying you particular were involved with it, but I'm almost positive it was one of your party. And this is a peaceful settlement that tries to deal outside this war. And if the, you are just another outside influence, and while we may be able to accept you, even though with your tainted human blood, we won't be able to accept your excuse you here. You excuse you? No, excuse you. You're, I mean, you've My been tainted, tainted by the, human blood. I mean, you you've been living with humans so long that I feel like it's dulled your view. Okay, just give me my shit. I'm leaving here. <laughs> okay. Um, he kind of summons one of his um elf friends, and he said, "It'll be ready to return to you once you leave town." And you guys leave. I'm sad. This place was nice for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I walk out of I walk out of the keep, and okay, or walk out of the tavern, and I actually walk towards the keep. Okay, at this point, I mean, they're staring straight at you as you walk down the keep, and he's like, that's that's the wrong way. You you go over there towards the main road. You have no business in our keep. I'm not going towards your keep. I'm simply headed further north. Your keep just happens to be over there. I go there to are, the church. There are no roads. I mean, unless you plan to go through thick forest, there's no roads leading up north of the keep. You have to take the road to the west. I mean, if we just went over this, if we have any more issues from you, we will have to take more drastic measures. All right. I'll walk around and actually head... Uh, I'm going to head actually over to where the party is being camped at. Okay. Um, at this point, I mean, it's been about an hour or so since it's passed. Um, by the way, like, did you ever make that deal with the blacksmith at all for the Elven Chainmail? Or did you? Was it just totally rewinded out of that? Yeah, just rewinded out of that. Okay. 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 
I head to the church. <laughs> I mean, he, he kind of follows you around. He said, what did I tell you, child? You have to go with your parent over there and you have to leave. <laughs> that is not my parent and then and the innkeeper can tell you so. <laughs> These racist elves. I'm sorry, I can't have you unattended, child. I mean, you have to I'm not unattended, with your friend you're there. here. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Next, by the way, he just walked out off through all this when he was talking to Villian. Okay. <laughs> And what would you have done? Would you have actually done anything, or would you have just kept on walking? I would have just kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kind of looks at both you guys, and like he has one of the chipmunks follow you next, but he's really in, and he's like, <sighs> What do you need to do at the church, child? I just want to pay one last respect to your, to the local god. The, the one know, that you all worship before leaving. Do you know what time of day it is? This is not the most appropriate time to be visiting the church. As a... I'm sorry, but I think you have to leave with your um, parent over there. And That's not my actually, parent. And he, and he, grabs your, he actually grabs your hand and starts walking over towards um, where Nex is. I mean, would you have stopped him? Can I throw a tantrum? <laughs> yeah, you can throw a tantrum. Wait, wait, what? Dietrich was at the church. Is this at the same time or yeah, later on? It's a little bit later on. Aw, darn. <laughs> Alright, I guess, yep. Yeah. Okay, I guess we could do it at that point. I mean, at that point, Diedrich, we'll say Diedrich's actually at, inside the church, just about to leave. <laughs> but, I mean, at this I'm, point, I'm but, obstinate. I, I, am, I, am a, I am a child that is not happy. <laughs> Okay, and at this point, like you start hearing like all this commotion coming from inside, and all this footsteps happening. I mean, you don't know what's happening. I mean, like the door's totally closed and it's locked. I'm severely concerned. And then the elf that's with you, and he says, "This is just more matters I have to attend to." And he just kind of knocks on the door, and a few minutes later, one of the clergymen kind of opens, and he says, "I think we might have a problem here. This this human over here won't leave." I sigh. And, and he just kind of looks. Oh, their kind has been giving us all issues through the city. You, and he kind of looks over to you. I'm not their says, kind. I'm a halfling. Is this your I'm child? I'm technically not human. He, he talks to you, Diedrich. Is this your child here, or, or is this? Are you looking after this child? Oh, no, nope. her. Uh, yes. Um, uh, she doesn't. I mean, no. I mean, I don't. I know, child. Oh, I suggest right. you and your you and the rest of your party are banned from the city. You are expected to leave. <laughs> you if you do not take your no child, will you said I can come back the next morning. How dare you, good sir? Bye. Are we gonna, are we gonna have issues? Look, 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 look. Maybe maybe my party has been giving town some issues. Like every I do not was. care. You humans are all the same. You just bring your nasty and vile ways in our cities and I just can't deal with this internal corruption anymore. I'm a halfling. I bring good luck. <laughs> you're a halfling? We have... You're a halfling? Yes. I, oh, I, I believe just thought I you're a really this. small human. No, I'm a halfling. Like, I've, I've been saying this. Regardless, you two I, leave. And at this point, he starts. He, at this point, he just look. He just. At this point, you're surrounded by about four or five chipmunks, and they're, I mean, they haven't actually done anything. But that will never not be just, funny uh, to me. They kind of give you an uh, impression that you're not welcomed anymore. I bow to the church and say thank you for your hospitality, even I though your him. people are kind of jerk faces sometimes. But I, I mean, it's it. just you know. Vile scum. Situation. <laughs> Does he call her vile scum? <laughs> <laughs> I stick my tongue out of uh, out of him as he leaves. <laughs> How rude! I know. Okay. People. Oh God. Okay. Okay, yeah, you guys. You I guys get all my up. weapons back. Yes. Okay, you guys <laughs> meet back up at camp. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll wait at the edge of the village for my weapons. Hold on, what? Okay, um, at the, 
at the end, like you're meted by um, um, one of the elves, and he hands you back the weapons or whatever. And he, um, he, hold on. Yeah, he hands you back all your weapons and all, and he says, "I, I don't want any more you and your kind back here. You are banned from the city. You are not allowed to step foot in this place, and if you do, we will take more." serious measures do you and your party understand well at least I do um... <laughs> quite frankly I don't care <laughs> I'll, I'll, I, mean, I mean the penalty for that kind of treachery is your life so you will not be warned again well aren't they a load of sunshine <laughs> I say okay, we just you guys yeah. Would you have guys done anything else the rest of the night, or just kind of camp out there? We, I would ask them why they aren't camping out in town and trying to hit the story. Okay. Okay. Because some happen. of y'all people decided that you would like to mess around town, so we got kicked out. Yeah, What's you the- guys are fucking idiots. We were trying to do something in there. Yeah, you guys, guys you're trying yeah, to do something you, productive. Yeah, you guys was- don't know what Natalie did, so you guys can't really say anything about like- that. Okay, who, you don't know what I did. Who the hell <laughs> went into town? They told us specifically not to go into town. Edric went into town. No, I didn't. He just he pulled did. you out of the church. I'm pretending brother. to sleep right now, just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> I went for a walk. I went the direct opposite direction of the town. It was not me. I go over and shake Natalie. I'm like, Natalie, wake up! <laughs> Pop in her chest. <laughs> the, is there yelling going on? People went into town. Did you go into town? Were you bad? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, okay, everybody, we're just like missing the point here. This place wasn't built by them, so how did they acquire it? Um... Uh, Who either. cares? It was Who fucking it was cares. It? Yeah, at this point, let's just let's just get out of here. Just stay the night and finish out this night no, and start that, heading on our way uptown. No, that that priest guy, dude, owes me a drink of wine. Is that how it works? Right? You just go say I'm sorry and get a drink. Right? How would I know? I was raised in the woods. That's not how it works. I was raised. I'm pretty in sure church. that's not how it works. I mean, that, yeah, I don't exactly not- make a habit of going into cities, but that does that's not how it works. Oh, I mean, I was nope. just there for the free drink. No, you, you, don't, you don't get really free drink at churches. Do you think unless, that- it's, unless it's like a charity day for the poor, but then they don't really have that in this. Well, that they old guy didn't look so city. charitable. Everybody, do you, th- do, you th- do you think that if we lit a couple of these trees on fire on the outskirts of town that we could burn the town down? Are you really trying to get Probably. us killed again? No. I mean, no. they're jerk faces, but By like, way, we should destroy their town. You know, we could build another town right next to this town. <laughs> Roll and a d20 and do what, Run. Add your spot. Ooh. All of us? Everyone. Or everyone that's awake, rather. I think we yeah, were. I, I, I think <laughs> all of us right now. I, I see, see God. I made sure you see God. Uh, as each one, <laughs> spot. Spot. I got a spot. spot. I got a twenty-six. Okay, and natural spot. Run. Run. Spot. Next. Run. Okay. Anyone else? Anyway, I got a natural twenty. Plus I got a Okay. Pretty much everyone, but Derek. Um, you guys. Hey, I haven't rolled yet. Oh, okay. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, everyone but Dietrich tries to kind of notice that you are being watched by these chipmunks. I mean, they're a little bit further in the woods where they're not, I mean, it's not totally no, noticeable at first, but you guys kind of stare off a few minutes, and you're definitely being stare, watched at. Guys, I think if we don't get out of here soon, they're actually going to start attacking us at this point. What are they going to do? We're not in their precious town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I like. You. I look directly at the checkpoint. I'm like, huh, 
you're over there, and I'm over here. Oh no! That's Mac Dietrich on the back of the head. Okay. What the hell are you, are you so drunk? Hold on. No, I went in there possible? to get a drink, and that's the hell we got. Do you say this? Do you say this in human? Or what do you say this in? That's not good. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, I'm, you say I'm it in human or elf? Halfling. Human. Okay, they don't understand you then, but yeah. Okay, good, good. No, it's like like I, I draw a line in the dirt with my foot, and yeah. I'm just like, hey, this is my side, that's <laughs> your side. I'm not. I thought you, you couldn't see the chipmunks. Oh yeah, Deidre um, couldn't see the chipmunks. So yeah, <laughs> everyone else unless could, someone, but not unless you. Someone, unless, no. like, yeah, I mentioned that they're over there. Okay. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Deidre oh. actually doesn't see them. He's just like. <laughs> Kind of talking to general area. <laughs> please, really please make him be doing it to the to the forest and not to the town and the chipmunks. <laughs> he's actually like, looking. He's actually looking like over the chipmunks. <laughs> 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 just looking at them. I, I just sit down and look at the chipmunks from where we are. I, I'm just sitting down looking at the chipmunks from where we are, and I'm licking my paw, taunting them. Okay, I mean. At this I point, say we skip town. So, I mean, do you guys do anything in particular? Okay, so how tired are you guys? I mean, do you I want to travel it. and get the fuck away from this place? Or do you want to move just slightly further out and camp for the night? What do you want to do? I say we um, move out and then camp somewhere else. I'm thinking about going back to town. I, I, I see. I met this person, and I kind of owe him a favor. Yeah, that, that's your death wish. If, if you want to do that, if you if you <laughs> die, then that's your fault. Do not kill us too. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll I'll save it for later. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll swing back by the area, and they'll be nicer then. Okay. I doubt it. I slapped Diedrich. I like that for with my paw, I just slap him. Okay, I'm um, going to roll a d20 and add your um. Mail. You're just slapping him, right? I'm slapping oh, him with my with paw. your claws with your claws out or anything? No, with, not with my claws out, just with my paw. Okay, just roll a d20. Slapping him basically. D20. He'll be taking three damage. Three damage. So unless you like triple critical him. <laughs> So, so I'm, I'm down on like 7 HP. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, you would have hit him, but um, go to roll D4. It'll be temporary damage. Yeah. You knock him out. <laughs> I'm back to sleep. <laughs> night, night, Paul. Go to roll your damage. Uh, your uh... I, I vote not carrying him. That is. How much is your strength bonus? Well, that is. Oh, my strength no, no. bonus? It's insane. No. What is it? Don't, don't include his strength bonus. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you totally assist You don't slap him? No, my strength bonus is... Te uh, um, um, wait, with the bonus? Yeah. Like my modifier? Yeah. It's ten. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it would have been all temporary damage, but... For the fun of it, we'll just say you knock him unconscious. It was just one of those like backhanded swings, and Diedrich just totally doesn't like realize what's going on, and he just kind of thinks that um, Tom was playing around, and he swings back and just slashes him, and he hit, actually hits like fa like falls for, like two or three feet back and hits the his head in the back of the tree and just <laughs> falls unconscious. Ouch! <laughs> Tom, you knocked it out. You get to carry it. <laughs> you get to carry it. Everybody's likes, an it. He likes to call people it. He's a meanie butt. Disregard the thing over there. He'll, he'll be back up in about ten minutes. But I right flip, now. I oh, flip just... next to Chris off. I drag him. I just, I just grab him by the scruff of his clothing, and <laughs> with my teeth, and I drag him. <laughs> <sighs> Alright guys, let's get out of here If that's where you're going, if not, then see ya Okay, yeah. did we make a um, fire or anything? Yeah, do you guys want to take a short break? Or hold on, do you guys plan the rest for the night? Yeah or what? Okay. We're not in that spot, we were moving out okay. That is safe yeah. from the town A few miles off? 
Yeah, we walked for like 30, 45 minutes or so. Just. Okay, um, everyone do another D20. Do their spot. D10, D20 was spot? Okay, wonderful. Oh, God. Something bad's going to happen. Good boy. I oh, I was almost. I almost had another 20. Ah. <laughs> uh. It was we close. got the same. <laughs> <laughs> Don't add all those extra stuff, thing, man. It kind of com kind of confusing. But <laughs> what's your spot? Actual spot, Diedrich? He's knocked oh, out. Can he really roll? Oh yeah, yeah, you're, 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 you're. <laughs> That's what the negative uh, is for. I'm okay. dragging him. You guys, you guys don't know us anything. None of us. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, that's really bad. <laughs> Don't, yeah. don't always assume because I asked you to do a spot check. It could necessarily be something. It could just be... We have funny. rabbit racist chipmunk. No, <laughs> rabbit racist, racist rodents staring at us. I do not trust the spot checks. Never trust the spot check. Ever. Okay, I mean, do you guys it, keep is, going? it is danger. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's just go get out of here. Back to the Two. world map. Or not the world map. I actually got transfer the new world map over. Still dragging Diedrich. I'm singing. Okay, at this point, like Diedrich wakes up and I mean, he's all just extremely filthy from the dirt and the mud that you, you've kind of dragged on him. <laughs> he's actually pretty chilly since a lot of the snow's kind of like went inside his armor and his helmet. <laughs> and like in Diedrich, what do you do? Uh, yeah, this is another hairball. Uh, my head hurts. <laughs> Jeez, that was one heck of a party. Uh, last thing I remember, the, those nuns at the church, man, they can dance. That was an awesome party. I think you might have given it a concussion. It? Now who's speaking I said, your pronouns? I, I said, I think you might have given him a concussion. You said uh, it. Don't, yeah. oh, I said it. it. He deserved it. It deserved it, yeah. It deserved it. It deserved it. <laughs> wait. Okay. Yeah, it definitely yeah, You guys wait. walked about maybe about an hour or so off. I mean, you if guys. If he gets pneumonia, it's not my fault. <laughs> at this point, I mean, you guys go ahead and do another spot check and. Okay, I'm not liking all these spot checks. <laughs> I think we're being followed. I have this strange feeling that we might be being followed. <laughs> oh come on! Um, Vara, I mean, Vara and Tom. Next, Chris. I mean, you guys feel very, fairly confident that there isn't anything following you. But I mean, you got I mean, it's just your confidence. <laughs> That's very reassuring, Ron. <laughs> very reassuring. How confident are you? <laughs> I, I stop in the middle of the road. I'm like, okay, something's not right here. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. going to stop over, and... Yeah, don't overread everything I say, so... No, I'm going to stop and actually search the area. Can we all, okay, like... Under... What are you yeah. stopping for? There's Do some... I need to just start rolling randomly just to make sure... Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, because... <laughs> okay. My guy is overly suspicious. <laughs> well, well considering be... how he acts, he should be. That would just be mean if you randomly roll dice that don't mean anything. <laughs> Just to fuck with our I'm heads. gonna roll two because I'm paranoid. <laughs> yeah. What I are think we I... doing? I just stop. I, I see. I see. I'm. 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 I'm asking next. What are we doing? Okay. Uh, I'm, oh I'm darn it! I don't hold on a second, guys. Better. Guys, hold on a second. Ron, drop the call. Oh, whoops. Tonight's D and D session is sponsored by Sprite. Which is sponsored by Coca Cola. That would be a perfect time to stop the call, which I'm going to do. Okay. No way. Yeah, we'll just leave a note for him that we decided to take a break. And yeah, we'll be back with in the stream just to, to give us five minutes and we'll be back, guys. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.